Hey, how's it going, Star Wars fans? Hope you're all having a good one. The brand new Ahsoka trailer just released, the official one, and uh, I figured we'd take a look and see what we can find out. So we start off with these two brand new characters who are called Balin Skull. He's played by the late Ray Stevenson, and the girl is named Shin Hati. It's been confirmed for a little bit now that Balin Skull uh, was a former Jedi Knight and a survivor of Order 66. And uh, so he actually went on to uh, become a, a mercenary for hire. And it, you know, appears that Shen will be his apprentice. You can actually see that she has, you know, like the pattern one braid in her hair. So that's, you know, that's kind of cool to see. We see that both of them arrive on a Republic cruiser. And, you know, these two are not messing around. They attack the new Republic soldiers and a fight ensues. We get this cool hallway scene of Balin, you know, just going to work on these troops. You know, just like Vader did in Rogue One. Very nice. Next shot, Balin says, we are no Jedi, as he impales the officer. So these two, you know, the lightsabers are different too, a different color. You know, they're not red, but rather orange. And that is intentional, you know, Dave said, you know, they are supposed to be orange. And uh, so yeah, you know, the orange, you know, it probably just means that they're probably, you know, somewhere in the middle. Not completely good, but, you know, not completely bad either. Something like that. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, that red Lucasfilm logo, I gotta say that looks real good. We see Ahsoka, I want to say she's at, you know, the world between worlds, but I could be wrong. We see some design on the wall. I'm not sure who the person is, you know, carved on the wall. Some kind of lady or something there, I don't know. We get thrown, the shot was already from the teaser we saw, but uh, anyways, we do actually end up getting a face reveal towards the end of the trailer, so stick around for that. Here we see Balin and Shin again. It looks like they're uh, with Morgan Elsbeth. Who was, uh, you know, I think she's supposed to be a knight sister, so. And uh, you can actually see her kind of do some kind of, you know, magic there as well. So that'll be, you know, pretty cool to see. Last time we actually saw her was, uh, you know, when she was fighting Ahsoka in Mando Season 2. Shin Hati says, you know, what happens when we find Thrawn? Balin responds, power, such as, you, such as you never dreamed. So they're obviously, you know, looking for Thrawn. Morgan, she casts some kind of spell or activates something that these, you know, old ruins maybe. Maybe it's some kind of, you know, like kind of hollow map to uh, try and find Thrawn perhaps. Here we see Hera. She's talking to uh, New Republic, to the New Republic about, you know, we have to uh, prevent another war from happening. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it probably doesn't end up too good there, I don't think. On to these next couple shots, it seems that Ahsoka will take Sabine on, you know, as her apprentice, it looks like uh, she calls her master in the trailer, and, you know, they actually speak about Anakin, and how he, you know, never finished Ahsoka's training, so, I don't know if they're gonna make, you know, Sabine a force sensitive or not in this show, or maybe, you know, Ahsoka will just, you know, teach her how to use the lightsaber for, you know, fighting, maybe. We know Hayden Christensen, you know, is gonna be in the series as well, but to uh, what extent, I'm not sure. Here we see Sabine and Ezra on a hologram. And uh, we actually saw this in the teaser, but he actually talks in this one. And he says, as a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decisions that no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. As he's talking, we see Sabine cut her hair, you know, very similar to uh, what we saw with Kanan and Rebels. We see a shot of Ahsoka and Sabine in the ship. And uh, that's also our boy, uh, Huang, in the back. I know, I'm, I'm probably not saying that right, but... Uh, Huang, you know, he's from the from the Clone Wars, and, uh, you know, he was that droid, you know, that helped helped all the Jedi, you know, construct their lightsabers and stuff like that. He's also actually voiced by uh, David Tennant, so that's cool. We actually see him in a few shots in the trailer, actually, a couple times throughout it. Here we see Ahsoka fighting an Inquisitor. Who could this be? You know, people have been saying it could be the 8th brother from Rebels. Looks a little bit similar. Or it could be, you know, even, you know, Bear Sophie from Clone Wars. That would be crazy. But I don't know, you know, it could be it could be anyone at this point. We get a cool shot of the mural from Rebels. Very nice. This next shot, we uh, actually see the Purgles. And, uh, like, these ones in this show, they're absolutely huge. If you don't know the Purgles, you know, they're in Rebels. And actually this season of Mando too. But, uh, you know, in this show, they look absolutely massive. We hear Soka say, if we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. And then, you know, we finally get the face reveal of the man himself, Elon Musk. Oh wait, you know, my bad, Lars Mikkelsen. 
I'm just kidding. He does look he does look like him though. You gotta admit. You gotta admit though. We get a shot of Shen and Sabine fighting and she actually tries to use the force, but I don't think anything happens. Uh because you know Shen replies, You have no power, so I don't know if Sabine is, you know, gonna be force sensitive or not. This shot here, Balin says, Anakin spoke highly of you. And we actually, you know, we can hear Vader's, you know, Vader breathing in the background as he says it. So, you know, by that, you know, he, he must have known Anakin, you know, back during the Clone Wars, probably, it seems. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. We see Ahsoka running away from an explosion. I don't know if this was at the World Between Worlds or not. We get a shot of Sabine in action with her helmet and gear on. And uh, the person she's actually fighting with, it almost looks like uh, actually Morgan Elspeth's soldiers that we, uh, you know, we seen in Mando Season 2 there. With the, uh, the, the Ahsoka episode, so... I'm not sure though. They, they look similar, but uh, I could be wrong. But it wouldn't make sense though, since you know Morgan Elspeth is in the show though, so it wouldn't make sense. We see what I believe is Balin and uh, Shin's ship, and they start firing on the Inquisitor and Ahsoka. So I don't know uh, who the Inquisitor is exactly. Is she, you know, is he working? He can't be working, you know, with Shin and uh, Shin and Balin. So is he just doing his own thing, or I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We get another shot of the Inquisitor and Ahsoka fighting, but uh, this is at night, so they obviously, you know, fight again. The Inquisitor, you know, has the blade just spinning right fast, you know, getting ready. And then you have Ahsoka there, you know, calm, waiting, and, you know, she's just ready. Then they start to fight, you know, the blades touch, and then the trailer ends. But uh, not before finding out that uh, this is actually going to be a two-episode premiere on August 23rd, so... Two episode, you know, that, that actually surprised me a little bit. I figured, you know, we just get the one episode premiere, but uh, more the merrier. So yeah, that does it for the breakdown. You know, I'm beyond hype for this show. You know, I'm really hopeful that Dave Filoni behind it, that it'll turn out amazing. You know, it's Ahsoka too. You know, I grew up watching the Clone Wars, watching Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan. So, you know, I'm really hoping we'll get, you know, flashbacks of them all. I don't think that's too much to ask for, is it? But yeah, guys, August 23rd, two-episode premiere. It's going to be here before you know it. And yeah, stay tuned for more Star Wars news, and have a great day. Peace.